harmonizers welcome to this video with Alicia she's gotten really really good with playing with her up cue so we are just starting to play around with it a little bit and add in some super cool fun tricks that we hope by the time we get to the makeover for a freestyle will be some pretty neat stuff but it all starts with just playing around so we're gonna take a look at little miss Alicia and playing with the up cue all right, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how we're combining the up cue with hopping up on the pedestal. So I thought this would be a super cute thing to start to teach Alicia how to do. It might look kind of cool for a freestyle. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. So to start with, I just have to make sure she has her confidence in terms of being able to do a bit of a rear and then land on the pedestal without hurting herself very nice job that was actually a really good one there she did that super duper well so it takes a little bit of practice a little bit of um, her figuring out what she's supposed to do and then I wanted to make sure she could still understand how to also put four feet up onto the pedestal you have to kind of make sure that they don't get too one trick pony type of thing with an object want to make sure she understands she can do different things so she kind of stumbled off the block there and didn't get it quite right so we're gonna see if we can do a little pop up and onto the pedestal again and then we'll try four feet on the pedestal after so anytime she kind of does something like that where she's trying you notice she didn't get a cookie for how she did that the first time she's gonna get a cookie for doing four feet on the pedestal but because she didn't do quite a nice up onto the pedestal she's not in trouble or anything like that just doesn't earn the cookie so i want her to think that she has to put in a little bit more effort so like there she just kind of stepped onto the pedestal and i want her to understand i want her to go up and then on so there she did that really nicely again uh lost her balance so i just kind of got her to pop back up and on again make sure she understands that it's both the up and getting on the pedestal that i want as a as a double thing for her to get and then seeing if we can go from that into all four feet up on the pedestal without losing our balance and lots of praise uh, lots of rewards to keep her going or keep her motivated along the way so she kind of stumbled off and then asking her to pick her little foot back up and you can see she gets worried she's holding her foot up she's not entirely sure where to put it down and so it's so important during this time that I just try to be clear in my communication of what I'm asking her to do but that I don't get upset at her for it so the reason why I didn't let her just walk off there was just because I wanted her to ideally put weight down on that other foot but she didn't have quite the confidence to do that but that's all right we'll we'll get a chance to play and practice that again <laughs> so she kind of didn't give me quite the up that I was looking for but she did give me some effort so I'm rewarding that a little bit and I want to build up that confidence with the four feet all on the pedestal again so rewarding her for doing that which she's getting pretty good at doing that she's learning to kind of fold her body uh, she's a big long horse so to get all four feet on the pedestal is a little bit trickier for her compared to some of my other horses and then what I'm doing is starting to take her more to the side very good girl that was such a good one where she's at the side of the pedestal so when she goes up there's a little bit of a pivot turn going on as well at the same time Evelyn, as you can tell from the background noise, thinks that it is super cool as well. And um, so we, I didn't want to like do it too many times that she got upset with me or anything like that, but I wanted to do it enough times that she kind of progressed a little bit to getting the pivot turn onto the pedestal where we were at the side of it and then going forwards into it, trying to get her at a place where she makes a little bit of progress there and understands it and then after i felt like she did a really good job with that i thought let's play around with her trot so her spanish walk is getting pretty good so i wanted to try to ask her for some type of up while trotting and see what she would offer so this wasn't really about me asking for anything in particular but just seeing if we could play around with having Alicia be comfortable offering new things. So I'm kind of giving her a bit of a Spanish walk cue as well as trotting at the same time. 
and she's kind of doing some interesting little things there. I'm not really looking for a rear from a trot. So instead, I'm trying to encourage her to do something different. Like that's kind of cool, the little bit of um, kind of kicking up a little bit that she did with her feet. So I decided to give her a cookie for that. And so this is kind of where you get to start to have lots of really cool fun with your horse where you you teach some foundational skills and you teach your horse that they can learn and that they can try different things and they can feel comfortable trying. And then this is just all about exploring, you know, what is Alicia going to offer me asking for these things at the same time? Uh, what kind of cool thing might she offer? And then that is something that I can shape and mold in the future as we go on. So I'm looking for something a little bit more effort in the up part of the cue because she's mostly just kind of trotting there. We're seeing a little bit of lift every so often here and there, but not quite what she gave me before. So I decided to just kind of slow her down and just remind her Spanish walk and just kind of remind her about that lift piece. And I want to be careful that I'm not just getting stomping with the one foot but instead I want her to be able to lift both her legs. That's a little bit better there. Ideally, we would get at least a couple of them in a row, and she's mostly doing the leg that's closest to me there. So I'm just kind of ignoring that for a second and want to wait for something that's got both legs a little bit more deliberately involved. There's, we, there's a couple, back to the other one. So I decided to reward her for that because we got three leg lifts in the row, alternating legs, where she was lifting up. Evelyn's giving her two cents in the background there. And so then I kind of reminded her, all right, so we're working with leg lifting here. So then we try a little bit of trotting again. And I say, could you try doing something for me? And she did some type of little skippy type thing. So I decided to reward her for that. Again, I'm not looking for anything in particular, just looking for something that involves some trotting with a little bit of lifting, whether she, that's kind of cute there too, a little bit of skippy, that's kind of cute. Um, so just asking her to try different things and letting her be comfortable with trying new and different things. So it's looking kind of, um, kind of cute, kind of cool. And you never really know what a horse is going to be really good at offering. Some horses are really good at offering, um, like lay down type cues or really good at sitting or and I kind of let my horses tell me what they're going to be good at doing and she's pretty good at playing with her up cue she took to the rear cue pretty easily so then I thought well we'll combine that with some other stuff so before I kind of totally wrap that up I just wanted to do a little bit of ground tie back up by tail make sure she understands that it's not always about the up and just doing a couple other little things there to make sure she knows not not always rear, not always up. But otherwise, we are playing around. Would love to hear what you guys think if those moves are going to be cool enough for a freestyle.